that which hath made them drunk hath made me bold. What hath quenched them hath given me fire. <laughs> Hark! Peace. <laughs> Twas the owl that shrieked, and the fatal bellman that gives the sternts good night. Oh, he is about it. The doors are open, and the surfeited grooms do mock their charge with snores. I have drugged their possets, that death and nature do contend about them, whether they live or die. I left no ring with her. What means this lady? <laughs> Fortune forbid my outside hath not charmed her, <laughs> for she made good view of me. Indeed, so much that methought her eyes had lost her tongue. For she did speak and starts distractedly. Oh, she loves me! Sure, the cunning of her passion invites me to this churlish messenger. None of my lords is right. Why, he sent her none. I am the man. Oh, what if it be so as tis? Poor woman, she were better to love a dream. Oh, disguise, I see thou art a wickedness, where the pregnant enemy does much. How easy it is for proper false in women's waxen hearts to set their forms. Alas, our frailty is not the cause, mm -mm, not we. For as such we are made of, such we be. He is so good and so happy, and he says he doesn't know where all his happiness came from, because his father, who's dead now, was more mournful than a willow, and his mother, poor lady, well, anytime anything good would happen, she would weep because she couldn't take it. How do you suppose she had such a boy? Well, maybe it's because sad mothers have happy children. Well, if that's the case, then I'll probably have the most solemnest son you've ever seen. No, I, I think my son will be an architect like his father. And maybe a, a second son can uh, be a missionary and, and go to China, whatever they want to do. Have you ever wanted to be a boy, mother? An almost perfect bow, as refined as a girl could wish. But he spends so much time in his round bottom boat that he can't seem to lose the smell of fish. The first time he kissed me, the whiff of his clothes knocked me flat on the floor of the room. But now that I love him, my heart's in my nose, and fish is my favorite perfume. Last night he spoke quite low, and a fair-spoken man is he. And he said, Miss Pifferidge, I'd like it fine if I could be wed with a wife. And indeed, Miss Pifferidge, if you'd be mine, I'll be yours for the rest of my life. Next moment we were promised, and now my mind's in a maze. For all I can do is look forward to that wonderful day of days. Hello, my name is Nadine Booth, and I am an actor based in the East Texas area. I grew up performing uh, in community theater productions and earned my musical theater degree at Tyler Junior College, and then just recently earned my bachelor's and master's in theater from Texas A&M Commerce. Since graduation, I've been able to pursue a career in acting, and I've done uh, both theater and film in the DFW and Shreveport area. I most recently finished my uh, role in an M. Night Shyamalan production called The Vanishing at Caddo Lake, and I've also worked as a theater technician in the Dallas area as a local hire, uh, and also just recently finished uh, a production of the National Tour of Cats as a dresser. Um, I, since I grew up in Tyler, Texas, I've grown up around the Kilgore Shakespeare Festival, and I remember one day uh, when I was in a Shakespearean acting troupe, we went to Kilgore and we were given a tour backstage. We were shown what it would be like if we were actors in the festival. We were shown where we would sleep, you know, where the kitchen is, where you sign in, all of that fun stuff. And since that time, it's always been a hope of mine to perform in the Kilgore Shakespeare Festival and hopefully I can this summer.
Thank you so much.